Uh, how do you describe it in terms of its tone and um, who it's sort yeah, of directed it's at? A, um, it's a, well, basically, it's a, you know, it's a story about um, an anti-hate satire is what, you know, it's being billed, but it's, um, it's a love story and it's, um, it's about a kid who really um, has been brainwashed by um, you know, a certain um, regime and, and uh, called, I don't know if you heard of them, Nazi Party, um, and uh, it's just about how he has to, um, I guess, re-examine his world view after meeting a Jewish girl um, who's hiding in this house. And... And it's really their relationship. That's what the film is about. So you know, I think mainly the film is about understanding, um, tolerance, ridding the world of ignorance and um, and bigotry. So yeah, it's a uh, yeah. That's it. What I was going to say. It's in a rectangular form. Um, the world premiere is taking place as we speak, and you're just giving it away, effectively, the film away to an audience for the first time. <laughs> How does oh, it feel to that audience? To that, to that audience. No, 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 no. <laughs> How does it feel? Because the, the buzz was in there. We were in there very briefly. The buzz was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic audience. It's a beautiful, like, beautiful theatre as well. And I think it's just this is for me exciting because the film, it, you know, with most films that have humour in them, you want it to be with a big crowd. You know, it's like a shared experience. And I think this film's got so many beautiful moments in it, and it's, and it's actually about something. It is a way better film to watch with other people I, you know, I th I'm sure it still works by yourself but I think there's nothing cooler than being in an audience with you know, thousands of people all laughing at the same joke well, well it was kind of a coincidence because uh, I auditioned for this different uh, film Ford vs Ferrari and um, my mum went to go see her friends, friends who work in the Jojo Rabbit office and they said did you audition for this and then a couple auditions later I was doing, I was, I mean, an audition later, I was doing like an audition where Tiger was on Skype though. And I remember after the scene, he'd go, okay, that's great, now do it like, and it'll be great. And he'd just like, he'd like lag out in that way. He'd, he'd stop and then he'd tell the thing. But it was very fun. He was, it was, the process was quite, in, it was quite scary actually. He seems like quite a fun director to work with. And um, what was it like working with all these giants of cinema, literal giants with uh, Stephen? He's massive. What was it like working with all these famous people? It, it's scary. It's kind of nervous. But they're very supportive and encouraging. And they've always, they, they're kind of helping me. And they help me on the ropes as well. And they're fun. And they were, it, was, it was fun. It was easy because they're so good. They kind of, like... To kind of help carry my way a bit. Well, um, Taika needed um, someone to play a uh, Nazi officer, and I thought he thought there was only one man for the job, uh, Steve Merchant. Um, Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's because I've got the height, you know, and I can be weirdly quite intimidating if I need to be. And I uh, know, believe it. And uh, if I this don't. interview goes wrong, you will, you'll see that dark side of me. Screw. And uh, but he also wants someone with a sort of comic sensibility, and I was, and I always knew, having never met Taika, I knew I would get on with him. I just could tell from his movies that I would hit it off. Sure enough, got there on day one, just like Soul Brothers straight away, just you know, great fun playing around um, with the script and just you know adding new ideas. It was a really pleasurable experience, exactly as I hoped it would be. Good stuff. Uh, a movie that doesn't focus on the drama, but instead gives us a black comedy. That's right. How did you feel uh, about your character? Well, I uh, love when satire and comedy uh, tackle big subjects, you know, and there's no bigger subject than uh, fascism, than the way that adults can condition young people to think a certain way, about realizing the error of your, your thoughts, uh, about realizing the common humanity between people, and that's what this movie's about. And, it's, and, it, and the fact that he does it with humor, but midway through the film, I tell you, your heart is gonna be gripped, and by the end, you might even be in tears, because it's a really powerful, emotional, moving story. And, and I was just so impressed that he was trying to do something as ambitious as that, and I was honoured to be part of it. And I really think people will be dazzled with what he's done. It's, it's, he's pulled off something magical, he really has. You know, although I was there to try and be funny and menacing because I'm playing a Nazi Gestapo officer, the, uh, the themes of the film are, are really positive about, um, you know, the way that uh, we find common humanity, mm -hmm. uh, the way that adults can kind of condition the way children think, and if you like, just mocking the kind of the absurdist uh, ideas of something like you know, prejudice and, and how when you scrape beneath the surface, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have any logic to it. And I think the fact that he has sort of put some of those ideas into the mouth of this imaginary uh, 
uh, Hitler dreamed up by a 10 year old boy kind of make, it reminds you of sort of how absurd so much of what was spouted was and, and sadly still is Correct. and I think that he, the fact that he's able to sort of take a satirical look at that I think is, is really audacious and I think the fact that it's still relevant now all these years after the war is very sad in a weird way I mean I wasn't really um, it wasn't really pitched to me in any way I was just kind of given this script that was by Tycho and immediately I was like okay incredible um, and read it I did the tape for it uh, I read it, then did the tape for it, um, and then Tycho called me up, offered me the part while he was cooking dinner, which immediately I loved because I was just like, right, this is relaxed, great, let's get in there. Um, and yeah, I just kind of read it and, and knew, or kind of could see that it was uh, about a, a, a child's journey and trying to find um, a father figure, and because his father has left him, and so is this kind of environment that he's in, kind of making him, you know. He didn't join this version of Boy Scouts, essentially what it was, you know, back then. It was just Boy Scouts and carrying around grenade launchers and, and knives and everything was completely normal. Or is he um, or is he just kind of influenced by the, the horrible environment around him? Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!